Now open your question paper and look at part one. You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B or C. One. You overhear some people talking at a party in a hotel. Where did the people first meet each other? A. At school. B. At work. C. At a wedding. Is Mark Hobson here? He's got a crisis at work and couldn't come. But Julie's here somewhere. Did you know he married Julie? You know, the girl who could never spell anything. Oh, right. It's their wedding anniversary today, actually. She says she'd rather be here with her childhood friends than waiting at home for Mark to finish work. <laughs> Has he changed much? Well, he looks much the same as he did all those years ago. Is Mark Hobson here? He's got a crisis at work and couldn't come. But Julie's here somewhere. Did you know he married Julie? You know, the girl who could never spell anything. Oh, right. It's their wedding anniversary today, actually. She says she'd rather be here with her childhood friends than waiting at home for Mark to finish work. <laughs> Has he changed much? Well, he looks much the same as he did all those years ago. 2. You overhear a conversation in a restaurant. Why haven't they seen each other lately? A. He has been too busy. B. He has been ill. C. He has been away. Hello, Jean. My car stairs. My favourite customer. You haven't been in for ages. No, I haven't. That's right. How are you? I'm fine. I heard you weren't well. Well, I was away for a couple of weeks, but I'm fine now. Oh, you were going to the States, weren't you? That fell through. Oh, did it? What I've been doing is reorganising the whole department non-stop since I saw you. Just haven't had a moment to myself. This is the first time I've been in here since Christmas. Well, it's good to see you. Are you ready to order? Hello, Jean. My car stairs. My favourite customer. You haven't been in for ages. No, I haven't. That's right. How are you? I'm fine. I heard you weren't well. Well, I was away for a couple of weeks, but I'm fine now. Oh, you were going to the States, weren't you? That fell through. Oh, did it? What I've been doing is reorganising the whole department non-stop since I saw you. Just haven't had a moment to myself. This is the first time I've been in here since Christmas. Well, it's good to see you. Are you ready to order? 3. You overhear someone talking about a concert. How did she feel at the time? A. Angry. B. Frightened. C. Disappointed. It was really awful, and I'd been so looking forward to it. Oh, don't get me wrong, the music was brilliant, and the show itself was really well done, but I'm sure they let too many people in. It was ever so crowded. I was right at the front, and everyone was pushing me against the stage. I couldn't breathe, and I was so scared I thought I was going to faint. It was really awful, and I'd been so looking forward to it. Oh, don't get me wrong, the music was brilliant and the show itself was really well done, but I'm sure they let too many people in. It was ever so crowded. I was right at the front and everyone was pushing me against the stage. I couldn't breathe and I was so scared I thought I was going to faint. 4. You hear a writer of children's stories talking about books and compact discs. What advantage does he think books have over compact discs? A. They may last for a longer time. B. They are easier to look after. C. They contain better quality material. I was brought up with respect for books. You know, always having clean hands, not bending the pages down, etc. And I certainly try to make sure mine are as well made as possible. I like to pick them up by the wrong bit and throw them around and so on, you know, to make sure they're strong. I think it's the permanence of books that sets them apart from the other media, don't you? Of course, what's more important is that you have good literature 
and good images. And I suppose whether that's actually on a compact disc or in a book doesn't matter. I was brought up with respect for books. You know, always having clean hands, not bending the pages down, etc. And I certainly tried to make sure mine are as well made as possible. I like to pick them up by the wrong bit and throw them around and so on, you know, to make sure they're strong. I think it's the permanence of books that sets them apart from the other media, don't you? Of course, what's more important is that you have good literature and good images. And I suppose whether that's actually on a compact disc or in a book doesn't matter. Five. You hear a husband and wife talking about their summer holidays. What problem do they have? A. They really hate flying anywhere. B. They can never think of anywhere to go. C. They never agree about what to do. You see, right from the time we first met, it was obvious that Natalie and I wanted a particular kind of holiday.、Um, the trouble was, it wasn't the same. I like going off and doing my own thing, you know, history and museums. That's what interests me. Well, I love markets and looking for bargains, so we end up sort of hating each other for two weeks or so, instead of having a really nice time together. The odd thing is that we see eye to eye all the rest of the time. It's just when we step on that plane, then the trouble starts. You see, right from the time we first met, it was obvious that Natalie and I wanted a particular kind of holiday.、Um, the trouble was, it wasn't the same. I like going off and doing my own thing, you know, history and museums. That's what interests me. Well, I love markets and looking for bargains, so we end up sort of hating each other for two weeks or so, instead of having a really nice time together. The odd thing is that we see eye to eye all the rest of the time. It's just. When we step on that plane, then the trouble starts. Six. You hear a researcher being asked about her work. What is she doing when she speaks? A. Denying an accusation. B. Disproving a theory. C. Accepting a criticism. Now it's a bit suspicious that this research about glasses has been paid for by a contact lens company, isn't it? Is it genuine, or are you having us on? Not at all. We asked about a thousand people, most of whom wore glasses, some of whom didn't, and really asked them what they thought of glasses. Their responses were interesting, but didn't come from us. It's what they told us, answering open-ended questions, and most of them said. While they thought that glasses could be, you know, pretty trendy, and that some of them looked quite cool, that they didn't much like them. Now it's a bit suspicious that this research about glasses has been paid for by a contact lens company, isn't it? Is it genuine, or are you having us on? Not at all. We asked about a thousand people, most of whom wore glasses, some of whom didn't, and really asked them what they thought of glasses. Their responses were interesting, but didn't come from us. It's what they told us, answering open-ended questions, and most of them said, while they thought that glasses could be, you know, pretty trendy, and that some of them looked quite cool, that they didn't much like them. Seven. You overhear a woman talking to a friend on a train. What does the woman think of the course she has attended? A. It has made her feel more confident. B. It has made her feel less confident. C. It hasn't made much difference to how she feels. Well, the whole point was to build confidence, and I'm sure most feel it succeeded, even if only partly. I must say I found it all very enjoyable, although I can't say I've benefited greatly. There was plenty of opportunity to get to know other people in the business, though, if you wanted to. You know the sort of thing: trips to restaurants and the theatre in the evenings. Well, the whole point was to build confidence, and I'm sure most feel it succeeded, even if only partly. 
I must say I found it all very enjoyable, although I can't say I've benefited greatly. There was plenty of opportunity to get to know other people in the business, though, if you wanted to. You know, the sort of thing. Trips to restaurants and the theatre in the evenings. 8. You overhear a woman speaking on the radio. What is she doing? A. Complaining about something. B. Apologising for something. C. Explaining something. So, shall we move on to the next subject? Uh, I'm sorry, but I do think it's necessary to go through this again for the benefit of your listeners. <laughs> Look, this is a crucial point, and I don't think it can be stressed enough. Now, as I was saying, the first thing that anyone with a complaint about their pension should do is put it in writing. So, shall we move on to the next subject? Uh, I'm sorry, but I do think it's necessary to go through this again for the benefit of your listeners. <laughs> Look, this is a crucial point, and I don't think it can be stressed enough. Now, as I was saying, the first thing that anyone with a complaint about their pension should do is put it in writing. That's the end of part one. Now turn to part two.